Election day, a car slamming into the building and sending a poll worker to the hospital. You can see here the crash left a huge hole in the wall there. And even with that, Grace Baptist Church is still accepting ballots tonight. Amber Spradley is there live at the polling place. So Amber, what happened? Yeah, Hugh, that's right. You can see behind me uh, voting is still going on at this precinct, but earlier today, here's a look at this damage left behind when a driver we're told accidentally pressed the gas instead of the brakes entering the building here and we're also told there was a poll worker sitting right inside in this area when it happened. He was taken to the hospital with injuries. We're not sure yet if he's okay, but he was able to help himself onto the gurney, so that was a good sign. As far as the driver, she proceeded to make her vote, and uh, that's what several others continue doing right now, trickling in within this last hour to go. Earlier today, I spoke with the Jackson County Elections Commissioner, Danny Glasscox. Uh, he's the chairman of the commission, and he said that the turnout today has been low and in typical elections, you know, he will have many of their precincts just sending him numbers throughout the day. But in this case, he's had to go call and ask the precincts about their numbers and he's just really not getting them in. So he did give me an estimate of about 5,000 votes around 3 p.m. today out of 95,000 voters. And that does not take into account of all the precincts either. So that's not really a great number to look at, but uh, that's what we do have at this time. Uh, and remember, you do have less than an hour now to come cast that vote. So we will be here live throughout the night, keeping you updated. For now, live from Ocean Springs, Amber Spradley, WLOX News Now.